These are for mason bees that uh, pollinate flowers and fruit trees. They are solitary bees. They don't form a hive like a honeybee. They are very useful in agricultural pursuits so in that they pollinate crops and flowers to people. The idea is to give the kids projects that have a meaning for them. It fits in with the overall program that they're doing with John Magnuson and the Cedar Tree Institute. What is a mason bee house? What is it made of? What is it like? The mason bee house is basically a piece of wood with some small holes bored in fairly deep in which the female bees lay eggs and then they put pollen in and then they seal up each egg with a little bit of mud, hence the name mason bee. The masonry is the laying the mud into the hole to seal it up. And they, they stack a whole bunch of eggs and pollen in each of these holes. The female dies at the end of the, the fall. Her eggs hatch out the next spring and perpetuate the, the species. This is a northern kind of bee. It's a small, dark colored bee, smaller than a honeybee. Uh, they don't have yellow on them, so people don't always recognize them, but they are quite common throughout the north part of the United States. And tell me what they're doing right now. Right now they are sawing pieces out of longer boards to make the components of the, uh, the bee house, and then they're nailing and screwing together various pieces in different configurations to make the, the house itself, and then a roof. And then the final step is uh, putting a back on so that the bee house can be installed on a post or against the side of a building. They prefer to be in a sunny side or a sunny uh, spot so that they stay warm during cooler summers. And then uh, tomorrow they're going to decorate them in various ways, painting the roof and then putting designs on. Wife Diana is going to be working with them. She's an artist and guide them doing some artistic creativity. Right now, it's a pretty mechanical kind of activity. They're following my directions. Tomorrow, the creativity comes into play in uh, designing different kinds of motifs that they can put onto the, the bee houses. And where do the houses go? Where do you put this type of thing? These can be put near a garden or near an orchard or any any other place that a person wants to have pollinators colonize and, and be present and perpetuate either flowers or vegetables or in an orchard the fruits that uh, trees depend on the pollinators for. So anyone can use them, whether it's home gardening or commercial gardening or farming. They're usually on the side of a building or on a post. That's why they have a flat back on them, although they can be hung from a tree limb too and just allowed to swing free in the wind. They'll work that way too. It apparently is better to have them mounted where they get sunshine during the day. Explain to me what the holes are for. The holes are the place where the, the female bee crawls in, she deposits an egg, she goes out, gathers pollen, places some pollen with the egg, goes out, gets some mud, and seals up that egg and pollen. Then she'll start the process over again with another egg, more pollen, more mud, until the entire hole is filled up. And in this case, our holes are anywhere from three and a quarter to two and three quarters deep depending on what part of the house. So those will be filled up with eggs and pollen. And then in the springtime, the young bee larvae hatch out. They pupate for a while inside the hole, wake up and consume the pollen, and then they dig their way out with the dam to become the next year's pollinators. And is it hard to make one? I mean, if people out there see this video, would you recommend they try it? This, this project can be easily done by someone with a, a hammer and a drill and a little bit of patience. An even easier way to do it is to have a piece of 4x4 four four and just drill a bunch of 5 16 holes in the 4x4. Four four. A lot of them are sold commercially that, with that configuration. This one is a little fancier because we wanted something that would involve the kids doing a number of different activities, sawing, hammering, marking, installing screws, 
sanding and then finishing. So we picked one that was a little more complicated than it would have to be. And do they know by instinct? How do mason bees know what they're about? The mason bee looks for natural holes in trees that are about 5 16 in diameter. If the hole is too big, other insects will use it in place of the mason bee. If the hole is too small, the bee can't get in, so they can't utilize it. So they're, they're pretty specific in the size of the hole that they're looking for. But explain to me what you're doing. I'm just putting the roofs on bee houses right now. I'm just screwing in the roof to the base, and that's where all the bees go, in here. And then I'm sanding it down, making it all flush. I guess they just go inside here and live. And what have you learned about pollinators in this project? That they're very important to every life on Earth because they pollinate all the fruits and vegetables we eat. It's for mason bees. Tell me why you're sanding it. So that the edges aren't sharp, so it doesn't hurt anyone when they're touching it. Nailing boards together. Okay. For the bees. And tell me about it. Uh, these holes right here, the bees go in and put pollen in or whatever. And then they hatch an egg and then they put mud there and then they go all the way down and then for the winter, they die in the winter and they hope that their eggs will hatch and do it again next summer. And explain exactly what part of the project you're doing. Uh, what part? I'm just nailing.